Hello everyone and a warm welcome then to the debate, the latest offering from Haters TV in terms of their podcast. We are at Box Park, just by Wembley Stadium in the company of Jerry Cox from Haters TV. Also, uh, not only just a, a writer and a broadcaster, he's also, of course, contributed to the Daily Telegraph and um, Football World as well, was it? World Soccer. World Lara. Soccer, of course, yeah. With me also to my left, Rodrigo Lara, uh, a video journalist. Rodrigo, great to see you and a warm welcome to your debut on the debate. Yeah, thank you, Manis. How are you? Yeah, I'm uh, good. Very happy to be here with you to talk about the beautiful game. Brilliant. And you know what? As this is a sports podcast, it's only right, really, that we um, acknowledge what's happened in the last 24 hours and the tragic deaths of the um, basketball legend that is Kobe Bryant um, perishing in a helicopter accident along with his daughter. Very sad, of course, with I think seven others also involved in that helicopter um, crash. Our thoughts, no doubt, with them and their family and, of course, all the supporters of uh, Kobe Bryant right across the world. He was a lot of support from football people as well. Yeah, and we saw that with Neymar. Dedicated his goal, yeah. and Cristiano Ronaldo, Harry Kane, I think you met him recently. He did, yeah. So. Yeah, it was a trending topic last night with all the football people. You know, Instagram, Twitter was just tweeting about him, mm. posting pictures, uh, Neymar, uh, celebrate and dedicate uh, the goal to Neymar, yeah. uh, to uh, Kobe Bryant. Was one of the greatest players of all the times in the NBA. It just goes to show, you know, it's... He wasn't just sport specific. No, he he went beyond the sport. Didn't yeah. He obviously some of his initiatives and his name went around the world. So it, it, a big loss, a huge loss to sport. Let's kick off today's podcast <laughs> then um, with a pretty controversial matter that was ignited by the Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp. Now I've only just defrosted from my um, few hours at Shrewsbury Town in what was a terrific uh, fourth round FA Cup tie. Um, the League One side salvaging a two-all draw against the Premier League runaway leaders after being 2-0 down. Um, but afterwards, Jurgen Klopp wasted very little time and said, when it comes to the replay now at Anfield, he's going to play second string, just like they did against Aston Villa in the EFL Cup, because it falls right in the middle of their Premier League winter break. Is he right to do that? Well, I mean, listen, he did it in the League Cup because he had no option. He, he had to take a team to Qatar for the World Club Cup, uh, World Club Championship. Yeah. So he, he couldn't play two teams in, in two places at the same time, obviously, then. This time he's got the option. Uh, yesterday he obviously had a mix of first, and, first team and, and reserves and young players. Mm. And it was a cracking cup type. We must say that first. It was a fantastic... That was the FA Cup. It was. Writ large. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the return at Anfield, it's great for Shrewsbury uh, for all sorts of reasons, but it, it, Liverpool don't need it. You know, They don't need a replay. It's, it's happened with other clubs. I was at Southampton Spurs at, at the weekend as well. They don't really want that replay. They, they replay on February the 5th. Mm. We've tried, the, the Premier League's tried to bring in a winter break. It's a little bit of a, an experiment and it's a little sort of half half It's a hybrid, isn't it? Yeah, so five games one weekend, five the rest uh, the next weekend. Everyone should get 13 days, yes. that's the plan. Yeah. But they're not, are they? No. I mean, some teams will, some teams won't. Uh, Liverpool taking the view that it's not worth risking those players, you know, that he wants to give a proper break to. He's already promised them time off. Mm -hmm. And so he, he's going to do exactly what they did in the, in the League Cup and just play kids. Rodrigo, you know, it's interesting. Jurgen Klopp didn't get much sympathy when he played the second string against Aston Villa. This time, it feels like the tide is turning and there is a bit of support for him because they all just look so thoroughly knackered at the minute. Well, I think, I think Liverpool right now, they can cope with all competitions. I think they have a really, really good squad. Mm. The young players, they want to show and they want to show the hunger. They want to be in the first team. So this is the perfect opportunity for the youngsters to show and prove to all the fans around the world yeah. they can make it also in the... In the biggest stage, with the small clubs, with the big clubs, I think they, they can take the advantage of this situation. Yeah. So I think they're confident to, to get to the next round. It's a good point. I was looking the other day how many players he's played this season. Mm -hmm. 49 yeah. in all yeah. competitions. I mean, it's almost double some many others in the Premier mm. League. And he's had to obviously you know, use those resources across all the, the cup competitions. But does it not, just like United did, when they... Didn't even they dropped out completely. Didn't turn they? turn up for the FA Cup. Does it not denigrate the the competition further? No, no, no. I think Jurgen Klopp is showing respect to all the competitions, and he wants to prove now with the young players they can also uh, do their job in the in the FA Cup with any competitions. I think uh, this is a great chance for the young players to show 
why they are Liverpool players. Yeah. You know, they want to show the quality and the football, so they can have a great performance and say and bring more problems to club. You know, in the future. Jerry, this is interesting. The FA are the ones that wanted the winter break in to essentially help, help England. England yeah, yeah. You know, and their chances at major tournaments. But by then scheduling these cut replays in the middle of the Premier League winter break, have they not been their worst own enemies? Well, this is <laughs> the problem the FA have, obviously, is they are responsible for the England team, where they want as few games as possible for those players in the build up to the Euros this summer. And they also run the FA Cup and want it to be as prestigious as possible. They want all the big players involved if they can. Mm. So they can't really, when it comes to this situation, they can't really win. Obviously, the replays are the big issue. Mm. Next year, the replays will be gone, and mm. that will be a completely different. Yeah, story. of course it is. Um, I think you should also mention to Rodrigo when he talks about young players. He, he was a Mexico under nineteen, played for Pumas. What? That was a sort of thing. Hang on a minute. You this get is this an quiet. opportunity you'd have loved, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah it is all time, all time. This is uh, another. A generation ago. <laughs> yeah. But you'd have loved that opportunity, wouldn't you? Yeah, to course, get in the course. first team, yeah, whatever yeah. the circumstances, and prove your point. And yeah, when, you are, when you are 19, 17 years old, you want to have this opportunity. You want to, have, you want to play all these uh, small games to maybe prove yourself and, and raise your hand to the, to the main coach, you know? Mm. I think this is a great opportunity for the young players and for the fans. Everyone in Liverpool is very confident they want to win the league mm. because we were, I was in a... Anfield when they beat uh, Manchester United, United yeah. and the crowd was amazing, it was unbelievable, singing all the time, chanting, we're going to win the league at the end of the match. So I think uh, all the spirit in Liverpool is really, really good at the moment. And from what we saw against Everton last time round in the FA Cup, the likes of Chirivella, Curtis, mm. um, LaRucci, you know, they have got players. It was, it, it was memes on social media, the kindergarten beat. Everton, you, know? <laughs> you love that, didn't you? Yeah, I was like, ah, really Liverpool good. fan. <laughs> yeah. Jerry, where do we go from here on in then? So where where do we go with Jurgen Klopp? Is he for turning or not? No, no, I, I think he's made his he, mind he, up. That's why Because he came out so quickly yeah, to say yeah. it. And, um, do you not think it was almost... No, I think, uh, listen, Jurgen Klopp threat. doesn't change his mind. Right, okay. He doesn't say things easily. He, he, you know, when he, when he says something, he means it. Right. I think he's going to stick to that, unless there really is pressure brought to bear, but I don't see that. Um, and it's understandable given their, their commitments mm. and obviously straight after the winter break then you've got the uh, Champions League kicks back in yeah. and that's another massive priority Atletico Madrid isn't it yes yeah. and Liverpool again you know yeah. they're defending the title and they then went back to the Metropolitano in Madrid yeah 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 back where they seen their glory last year yeah so you know it's understandable and as, as Rodrigo said some of those kids are going to show what they can do and that's knocking on the door and giving him a nice problem. Yeah, and that's the other thing actually that this episode has almost reminded me is that yes, they are almost there with one hand on the Premier League but he is almost just as passionate to keep hold of the Champions League trophy. Yeah. You know I think this is a season where Klopp can make a huge, huge history with yeah. everything. Yeah, it's all about a legacy yeah. for him, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. You want to make that impact yeah. for the history of the club and I think this is the season and they have the squad, they have mm. world-class players mm. where they can go for everything. Great stuff. And one other point there yep. is that they are so well positioned because not just domestically where City are, are, are notched down from that brilliant best last year yeah. but the rest of the big clubs, you know, Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester United, Tottenham, disarray really. Yeah. Um, and then you look around Europe, you know, Real Madrid and Barcelona are not the forces they were, mm. Bayern Munich maybe not, Juventus. So if you look at the giants of European football as well, mm. Liverpool must be looking at that saying, we're as good as any, well, they are the world champions, they're the European champions, they will, they will mm. soon be the Premier League champions. Why not? Why not look to do that for the long term? Defend their titles at home you in know Europe, what? you know? I just have a sneaky feeling. You say that they, their powers are waning on the continent. Maybe Liverpool's main obstacle rests at home, Manchester City. For me, are still a beast to be reckoned yeah. with. The fact that they've scored over 100 goals mm -hmm. in all competitions this season, I think Pep's going to put everything into that. Mm. They're not going to catch him now, though, surely. I'm talking about the Champions League. Oh, well, that's... Yeah. Liverpool, Champions League. Liverpool City, Champions League again, quarter-final. Could it be? That would be really good. 
Well, we've got four English teams in. Yeah, we so have. So again, we're going to have you, the, Spurs think, City last year, Liverpool yeah. City the year before. It might not be so straightforward okay. for you, Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's not what he wants to hear, I, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, but for now, Jerry, thanks very much indeed. Um, thank you too as well on your debut. Thank you very much. Very good, uh, Rodrigo. Um, now look, if you've got any comments, if you agree with these guys, if you disagree, stick them on the comments section. This is available, of course, across all of Haters TV's um, social media channels, be it on Instagram or YouTube. But from the three of us for now, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.